among the most expensive Fiat Ducato camper vans that you're going to find uh, made by a mainline manufacturer is this one here from Eulermobil. This is a 636 centimeter long vehicle. It's got uh, lengthwise beds at the back. It costs 87,000 euros. Now, looking at the door, though it looks quite uh, attractive, we've got the light welcoming us, we've got the Euromobile sign, we've got a drawer here, which uh, also quite, quite nice and it's got proper sides to it. Uh, if we walk in, we see we've got the tent in the roof up there. There's the tent for you. I won't walk up the ladder. Well, in fact, there isn't a ladder here, so I'm not going to be walking up there anyway. And in here, we've got a rather unusual, original kitchen block. So, we find here, place there for, well, I don't know what there, whatever fits down there, and uh, a similar one down here. But I can tell you what fits down there. That's for bottles. Now, how about this for a sink? This is very similar to the, uh, the sink setup in the automobile motorhomes. So they've used the same, a draining, um, what can I, what can I call that? A draining, a draining piece uh, and the water will flow back into the sink. It's molded sink, it's deep. Uh, there's not much room to do anything else, uh, make it bigger. It's got a proper domestic drainage uh, point. I like the way that looks. Next to that, we've got two burners. And because we've got this sink like this, we can actually continue doing work here, uh, food preparation whilst we're cooking. Now below the kitchen block, we've also got drawers, as you'd expect in anything. And down here as well. Oh, it's hard. Oh, that's really, that's really tough. And there's a one down here as well somewhere. I think there's one down here. <laughs> maybe there isn't. <laughs> and, uh, maybe, maybe I believe there wasn't. Uh, there isn't any longer. Uh, and of course, up here. Oh, this is tough. Tough because it's new. Uh, uh, one thing I don't understand. Look, what's this here? I mean, what are you supposed to do with that? A bit daft, isn't it? And here as well. Okay, things mightn't fall out if they're put in there when the vehicle's movement, because that is quite deep. But uh, all the same, I like these things covered. But I don't know, maybe that can be like that. Of course, it will rattle a bit in movement motion, unless you pack it full of things. Right, and here we've got the fridge. I don't know if this is me. Look, I'm, I definitely have opened that as far as... No, there's something wrong with this. Oh, no, there wasn't. It's probably me. No strength. What's happened to all the things in the fridge? Have they been t pinched by somebody? Or it wasn't removed by Euromobil. I hope it's been removed by Euromobil because people steal things. In fact, there's a friend of mine. Uh, he's got a vehicle here. And uh, what's happened uh, on his stand, lots of stuff went missing. I was really quite upset about it uh, when he told me. And I saw some of the things that had gone missing. Anyway, uh, having said that, it, um, <laughs> If he'd listened to me and removed all the things in the first place, they wouldn't have gone missing at all. Anyway, why is it that people come to these events and then help themselves to as much as they can? It's really very, uh, it's very unfortunate because one day all of this won't be available for people like me to actually film. Uh, right, here we've got a, uh, oh, that's a lovely sink, isn't it? Uh, it's deep sink. It's this uh, large capacity, um, got the, the drainage there. Oh, I think that is a lovely uh, washroom in a, a camper van, Fiat Ducato camper van. You've got a window there, um, it's frosted so you can't see out, uh, but you can open it and uh, so you can let the steam out there if you're into having hot showers. Right, um, beds. Uh, can be joined. You've got the pieces there to join them with. You've got the plates there to put join them with. And uh, alternatively, you can have two singles. Under the bed, under the bed, <laughs> you've also got storage as well. Um, storage all the way around. I think it looks rather elegant. But once more, I question what's the point of something like this gets in your way 
and it doesn't actually serve a purpose. Uh, you can actually use these uh, straps to hold, uh, tie up the mattress when it's, if you want, for example, to use one side of the mattress as a couch for sitting on uh, whilst you're admiring whatever's going on outside. Let's go to the back. So here we see a uh, gas cabinet there, storage uh, in here. Um, this partition is really useful so you can keep things like deck chairs and outdoor tables under there and it, it, without uh, you, th that getting in the way of whatever you've got stored elsewhere. In here, storage. He's even got lashing strap. No, they're not lashing straps. Sorry, that's just uh, attaching that to the plate. Outdoor shower, and uh, thinks a very nice vehicle. I uh, really, I, I like this. Uh, but mind you, it's pretty expensive. That tent in the roof will, of course, make up a rather large part of the price of this motorhome. Yeah, I'll just show you this one. A couple more here from Oilermobil, uh, which I'll show you quite quickly. This uh, van V635HB, and this thing here is going to cost 80,000. So it's a bit cheaper, but it doesn't have the tent in the roof, and the tent will be be looking at seven, eight thousand for the tent. Uh, nice amount of lighting, and at the back we've got a bed which will move up and down, which is a great feature. Uh, it gives you a huge amount of storage inside and as you can see in here this is just the same and uh, right i'll take you to the back show you around there so look at all this space you've got this here can be used as a uh, ramp to uh, put in a motorbike. This bed will go up. I, um, let's just see if I didn't check if it's, it's, no, the key isn't in at the other end. Key goes in at the other side. There's also a switch in the other side as well. And uh, when the bed goes up, you can get a lot more space below. Maybe you don't want all that space below, then the bed can go down. Absolutely ingenious uh, way, uh, a storage solution in my opinion. Take you around to this automobile uh, van. Now, this one here is the van v V595HB, 74,130. This is a six meter van. So, this is like a classic camper van uh, here. And so, there you can see that the, the bed's fixed, but it's got a uh, it, in comes in com uh, sections if you like and the sections can be taken out should you want to have space for doing anything else but you're supposed to sleep width wise because unless you're particularly short you're not going to fit lengthwise same washroom same kitchen at the front even though this is 36 centimeters shorter this is v633 eb eb means that it's got single beds but of course they can be joined now uh, this vehicle here comes at a price of uh, 79,636 centimeters, which is more or less normal for a uh, the uh, long width-wise, sorry, length-wise beds. And so they get a good view here. As you can see though, there's each van has got th set things which are very similar, such as the kitchen block. Uh, the rear is where things actually change. Toilet and bathroom is the same in all of them. Oh, I didn't show you this as well, because this here will come out like that. And there's your shower unit. Clicks into this place, as you just heard. So.
So there you have the automobile range of camper vans. I hope you found that interesting. Um, I upload every day at 21.15 and uh, for the new year I like to actually show uh, vehicles which uh, go a quick overview but many of my videos are also in more depth should you be interested but for the moment thanks very much for watching uh, and all the best from me in Germany